Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Harsha from Informatica GCS. In this video, we will be discussing about creation of category and data collection in CDMP. Following topics will be covered in this video. First, steps to create data category from CDMP UI. Second, steps to create data collection from CDMP UI. Third, bike create categories and data collection in CDMP. So let's get started. Steps to create category from CDMP UI. Category is a predefined classification where data marketplace administrator can publish data assets and a data owner can create data collections. To create categories, one must have one of the following user profiles. Category owner, data owner, data marketplace administrator. We can create category from the UI by clicking on new category type as shown in the image on the right. Next, steps to create data collection from CDMP UI. A data collection is a collection of one or more data assets. A data user can order a data collection to request access to the data. To create data collections, one must have the following one of the user profiles. Data owner, category owner, data marketplace administrator. In order to create new data collection from the CDMP UI, click on the new data collection type as shown in the image on the right. Next by create categories in CDMP. Following other columns are shown in the image on the right in order to bulk import categories in CDMP using the data marketplace category template. Let's discuss each column one by one. First, reference ID. This is nothing but the reference identifier of the category. Kindly refer the data marketplace guide for the guidance in order to fill the reference ID. If the reference ID column is left blank, it is auto-populated in the UI. Next, name. This is nothing but the name of the category that needs to be created. Description. In order to give some context and purpose of the data category to be created. Next, status. Active and inactive. If the status of the category is set to inactive, the category and its data collections will not be discoverable to data users in the CDMP UI. Next, category owners. This is nothing but the owners responsible for data within the category. We can mention the group name or the email ID of the respective users. Next, by create of data collections in CDMP. Following is the list of columns which is used for bulk import of data collections using the data marketplace data collection template. Let us discuss each column one by one. First, reference ID. This is nothing but the unique reference identifier of the data collection. Kindly refer the guide for the guidelines of the values to be mentioned for the reference ID. If the reference ID column is blank, then it will be auto-generated. Next, name. This is nothing but the name of the data collection to be created. Next, purpose. It gives the context or the definition of the data collection to be created. Next, category. This is nothing but the category name in which the data collection needs to be created. Next, certified users. This gives the context in which the data is to be used Next, data owners and technical owners. These are nothing but the users which are responsible for the data collections. We can mention the group name or the email ID of the users. Next, status. This takes two values, published and unpublished. Now let us proceed with the demo. So this is the CDMP UI where I am logged in as the data marketplace administrator. We will be creating a category manually from the CDMP UI and by importing a data collection using the data marketplace data collection template. So let's get started. First click on new and the category tile to create the category from the UI. Let us fill in the details. In this way, a new category is now created. Now let us proceed with the bike import of data collection. 
click on new by create this is the page from where we can download all the templates required to bike import we can click on the tile for the appropriate bike import template I have selected the file to be bike imported. Let us discuss the columns one by one. This is the data marketplace data collection template. We have filled in the values for the data collection details. First the name. This is the name of the data collection. Purpose of the data collection. This is the category that we have just created from the CDMP UI. The certified users in order to give the context of the data collection data to be used. I have assigned two groups for the data owners and technical owners respectively and the status marked as published. This is the page where all the details of the records mentioned in the data collection template will be displayed. We can select the auto fit content to see the, all the details. We can also filter by the status ready, error and excluded which means it will identify all the records which are have any errors and we and will be and the error will be displayed accordingly. So let's proceed. We can click on the create all ready rows. This is how the data collection is imported using bike import. You can click on the finish button. That is all for the demo from the UI. Following are the data marketplace documentation links to be referred for category and data collection creation. In case of any queries regarding this video or any suggestions or feedback, kindly reach out to us using one of the following links. This marks the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video.